Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Framework Manager tutorial video. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to get data from different sources. Okay. In this example, we are using a SQL Server database. We are using MySQL database and third is our flat file. Okay. And we are combining this data inside Framework Manager and finally we are displaying it in IBM Cognos report. This is Mayank Sangvi and thanks for tuning in VLEMO. In this video, so this is our IBM Cognos report. I'm going to click on play. This is the output. Now, from our SQL Server database, this is our SQL Server database. And right now, if I'm going to execute this query, star in this table we have all information regarding employee but we split it, this information in multiple sources so last name is coming from our mysql database so this is our MySQL database. So last time is coming from MySQL database and city information is coming from so employees city related information is coming from employee city database. Okay. Now for personal group or online training, contact us on our number or you can drop us a mail on our email ID. For creating connection, for creating the connection, SQL Server connection, it is very simple. So let me open IBM Cognos administration. So this is IBM Cognos administration. If you want to create a SQL server connection, you need to click on new connection, provide your connection name, click on next, select SQL server, click on next, provide your server information, select database, Click on single sign on, click on password, provide your SQL server username and then SQL server password and then finally click on test connection. If it is successful, click on finish to create your SQL server connection. In case of MySQL database connection, you need to first create a ODBC connection. So double click on ODBC data source. ODBC data source is you can access this from control panel, administrator tools and ODBC data source. For MySQL, we created this and let's say if you want to create another connection, click on add, select MySQL ODBC 5.3 and C driver, click on finish, provide your database server information. For me, it is local host and then username root for this user my password is blank and the database is test finally click on test everything is fine click on ok once you are going to click on ok your new server your new connection is going to create it successfully then we are going to use this odbc connection inside ibm Cognos administration to create a new mysql database connection so we are on ibm Cognos administration so let me click on cancel for my for my sql connection i'm going to click on this i'm going to provide my my sql connection database name click on next here i'm going to select odbc again i'm going to click on next here we are going to provide our odbc connection name it's my sql yes this is my sql and then no authentication is required for this because all the authentication related information is available in our ODBC connection. Okay. Then finally click on test, test connection, click on test. If it is successful, click on finish. So let me close this, close this. And finally, the last connection type is for text. So last is for text file connection. Again, for text file connection, we need to first create a ODBC. So let's me, let me select add and then we are going to select Microsoft text driver. I'm going to click on finish. Let me name it employer city. 
then I am to click on then I am going to uncheck this use current directory no I want to select another directory so I am to click on this button C my file is available C data and this is my text file I am to select this ok and then I am to select options and I am going to define the format I am going to select define format I am going to select my text file ok so I am going to select first column name in header I am going to select tab delimited rows to scan let's say 2 for the time being and then I am going to again select my text file ok so this is employee ID and CD yes I am fine with this and if you want to rename column you can feel free to rename it ok for employee ID data type is integer I am fine with this the city ok I am fine with this click on ok to again click on ok to create your text file connection and then uh, we are able to use this inside our IBM Cognos connection so I am going to click on new connection our Cognos tutorial app is now available in our Cognos tutorial app you can find tutorials interview questions with answers quiz offline features for video and articles job alerts you can ask your queries you can find dumps for certification live training alerts and much more download url is available in the description of this video i'm going to say let's say it's a text file i'm going to click on next i don't want to configure jdbc i'm going to select again odbc i'm going to click on next i'm going to provide odbc connection name it's i think employee ct emp ct No authentication is required. Test the connection, test it, and it is succeeded successfully. Once we have all the connection, then we are going to open Cognos Framework Manager. Then we need to run metadata wizard. Click on next and run metadata wizard for all the required connection. Once we have all the tables, then we create it. Once we have all the tables, then we created a relation one to one relation between all the tables because one to one relation for all the tables and once we have our once our relation is created successfully then we created a new query subject inside this new query subject we combined uh, data from all the tables so employee ID first name is coming from our SQL Server database last name is coming from my SQL database and city is coming from text file Finally, I created a new package and I published this package in public folder. So this is our new package and inside using this new package, we created this new report. So this is how you can connect to multiple data source or different data source and you can combine data from different data source and use in IBM Cognos. That's it for this small video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe, share it with your friend, provide your feedback. See you all in next IBM Cognos tutorial video. Some important URLs.